Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna say a word. This car speaks for itself. You know what, I can't do that, I tried. Anyway, listen, no kidding. Intimate with the owner of this car. This was a dream build of his. It spent several years doing it, well over $100,000, all right? And just uh, got to a place where he really couldn't, he was just getting older and really couldn't take care of it anymore. So. Uh, I'm hoping that you're the person that's going to love this car the way he did. I mean, he put everything he had in this car. And when you take a few minutes and look at the detail here, I'm going to glaze over and I'm sure I'm going to forget a few things. But this has two full pages of description. Probably could go to a third page uh, of all the things that are done to the car. So I apologize if I have to read off of here, but I just can't remember everything about every car uh, ever. The paint job alone, $25,000 verified by the body shop. 25 grand because this car was all taken apart. This is actually uh, only a three owner car since the 60s, which is pretty cool. And the same owner for uh, uh, in between for like 25 years. So it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's just I get excited about this stuff because it was originally just a wonderful, wonderful car. So I like to do this, but in this, I would be doing this uh, an injustice. Like, look, obviously, you can see how clear the writing is here. But I want you to see what this is. This is custom done paint, all right? And the black and purple uh, flip flop and it done with like Saran. I believe that's the way the, they do this style of painting. And I'm not an expert in this, so I don't wanna pretend to know everything about everything about everything, because I definitely don't. So all I wanna tell you is I know what nice paint looks like. I don't know how to put it down, but I know what it takes to get there. And I can tell you that this took a lot to get to that place. So like even down here, uh, when we hold this here, you can see how clear uh, everything is uh, and every panel uh, lines up so straight look how much time is spent keep in mind this is a 50 year old car man 50 year old car and look at these panels on this car everything is tucked in so beautifully all custom matched uh, wheels tires brakes wheelwood brakes with polished calipers all right billet the budnick wheels all the way around i mean just beautiful beautiful but uh it's called violet foil and silverstone metallic it is beautiful uh, the way it is. If you don't love the paint, uh, we can repaint the car for you if you want. If it's not your style, I totally get that. That's uh, This is very personal. Uh, I love it. I think it looks great. We can make this part black if you wanted. Um, whatever. We can do whatever you want with the car. It's a, uh, But the, the car itself is so spectacular. It doesn't matter what color it is. You pull up anywhere in this car and it is, uh, it is a show stopper. All right, so let's keep walking around for a second. Shaved doors, no handles, right? It's got door poppers. All right, all new chrome, stainless, all new glass. Like, look how beautiful the package tray is right here with the sound system here. Custom made package tray with the ribs. It's got a full roll cage in it because if you want to take it to the track, you could. I don't believe this car's ever been to the track, but if you want to be the first one to take it, you could be. All right, and as we walk around, all new bumpers, bezels, taillights, bulbs, wiring, chrome, stainless. All right, come take a peek here. Look underneath this car. Fabricated nine inch, stainless tank. Look at how beautiful the exhaust bends are. They go around the tires and they're all tucked inside near the frame. The whole rear end is a four link tied together. Everything is heavy duty. Everything is the best of the best of the best. You can easily, easily see how 100,000 could be spent in three years easily on this car. So I think uh, the last number we heard was 125. I'm not gonna quote anything. You can see the stuff, the drivetrain alone, probably $30,000, all right? And just start from there. 20,000, 25 for the paint job, and it adds up so quickly, all right? So uh, I have rambled on about the exterior of the car. Clearly you can see even stuff like the Holly carbs are chrome. The blower is polished. Uh, the catcher, polished. All of this stuff, you know, say, wow, that's really great, Tone. Uh, so what? Well, so what is so what? So imagine a chrome carburetor is now four times the price of a regular carburetor. To polish the blower is probably twice the price of a regular blower. And time, time, time. It just takes so much time to do this stuff. That's why I wanted you to see some of the detail. All right, so let's check this out for a minute. 355 cubic inches. You say, well, that just doesn't seem like enough cubic inches. Really? Come on, seriously. 355 cubic inches of solid forged parts inside. Blown twin carbs, driven properly with the right PSI, 
500 horsepower in a car, the most it had, right, at any one time uh, was 350, okay? The most it ever had. And that was a different type of rating. This is a real deal, 500 horsepower at the rear wheels and can be 600 or 700 if you want. It's built for that, just change the pulley here, all right? Rejet the carbs, a couple other things. But what I really wanna show you is, this makes great power and it's also designed to cruise effortlessly. Look at the size of this radiator. We call this the radiator module. And the reason it's called a module is because you can see on the back side the fan is sealed inside the aluminum radiator. You know why that's important? I'll tell you why that's important, because you want to want to go to a car show, you want to take this thing to the beach, you want to, you want to cruise, you want to sit in traffic, right? And you don't want it to overheat. The last thing you want to do is sit there and the car boil over, the engine die, and wait 20 minutes for you to cool down enough and be ready to start again. This prevents all that from happening, all right? Everything is sealed from the power steering to the coolant uh, overflow bottle. Uh, uh, check out this right here. Look at the billet control arms. No longer do you have a regular frame in this car. It has a full exoskeleton. It's a chassis work, what we call subframe, and also has rack and pinion steering down below. Ceramic coated headers. Everything is, look how beautifully everything is polished, tied together, billet dipstick, braided lines, fuel pressure regulators, all right? Even little stuff like the alternator is chrome. Look how beautiful every piece in here is. I mean, it's so nicely done. And it's all painted, too. It's not like they bought it this way. They had to paint all these parts separately as well. All right, so we looked at this right here, and this is beautiful. The cutout is right. The hood closes like it's supposed to. And check this out, too. So if you go to a car show, make somebody look here. Because look how much effort's put in there. Polished rack and pinion steering, polished oil pan, control arms are polished. The suspension's fully adjustable for height. You pick whatever height you want. And it has separate electric fans on this side as well. So we're talking about a puller fan on one side, pusher fans on this side. This is what I'm talking about. This is the way you build a car, right? When you, when you want to build the very best car of your dream, this is how you build it. All right, so come on down here, 20 inch Budnicks, all right, with Mickey Thompsons, and they fit beautifully inside there. There's still some room in here. It's not so tight that if you hit a bump, it's gonna rattle or bang into the body. The valve stem cap is put on the inside of the wheel to keep this smooth and beautiful. This is the detail stuff I'm talking about, man. Look at this beautiful paint right here. This is hand done, true fire flames, so it looks like real flames, and you can barely feel uh, anything there because they put lots of clear on top of it. Little stuff, like electric trunk release. Another small detail. Look at this trunk. Is this the most beautiful trunk you've ever seen? The paint is continued on the inside. Again, I love the paint, and I think you will too, but if you want to change the color, it's not a big deal. We do it every day to all kinds of cars here, uh, so it's not uh, something that's going to really uh, make a big difference. Dual batteries tucked inside here. Roll bars all tied in there, okay? Fuel cell with a fuel gauge. Another battery there, Optima. You say, well, what's the big deal about dual batteries? Well, there's two Optimas in there. That's $250 a piece. Billet battery hold downs. Uh, those are another $200 a piece. There's $1,000 worth of batteries and boxes in here holding it down. That's how you spend $100,000 plus uh, building a car. All right, so come on in here because this right here, this is $15,000 worth of interior. Check out the back here. So this car is tubbed, and theoretically, we could put a back seat in here if you wanted to, all right? But look how beautifully it's done. Everything is colored in ultra suede, all color matched, all the carpets, custom dash. Check out the headliner, man. It matches the package tray back there. And the door panels are all custom. Billet door handle releases. Still got these cool old school vent windows. They're all new and they work really well. That's where everything stops. Now we get to the new stuff, like tilt. Billet tilt wheel, uh, steering column budnick wheel, the color matched wrap, okay? Got DVD, navigation, uh, satellite, all the things that you'd want in a high-end unit through here, through the sound system. This has power windows with billet switches. This awesome shifter, the shifter works like this. So you can just pull it down to drive if you want, or if you wanna see uh, how to drive the car, because it has a lot of power, you don't wanna concentrate on looking at the shifter, so you don't have to. So let's say you decide to whoa, you decide to go, right? Just hit it like that, it goes into second only, right? Then go ahead, squeeze the handle, and then throw it again, and that goes to third. That way you never have to look at the a shifter and you don't have to worry about it, right? Just a half squeeze there, 
we'll go ahead and put it right back in park. And that's your uh, lesson for the day. I know it looks simple and it normally is. All right, so the dash there, auto meter gauges, you can change the colors of them. Check out that. That is just awesome. The glow and green, they look really cool. And this, this is turning on here. When's the last time you uh, participated in? I agree. This is a great car, man. You guys will love this car. All right, so how about I fire it up for you? Of course, really what we want to hear is, how does this bad boy sound? This is how it sounds. All right, so we've had some time to walk around this car, see the detail from the ridiculously spectacular paint and body on this car. Beautiful wheel and tire selection. The interior speaks for itself. And then just throw in a lot of the things that you don't see, like the, the fabricated nine inch, the adjustable coil over rear suspension, the fact that this car just goes so straight when you step on the gas. My feeling is everything about it was picked out of the bin for the best parts that you could buy you can see it and in, and if you're going to buy a car and you want to get a great car and you want to drive a car now instead of two or three years from now and spend half of what this car costs to build this is the way to do it all right call us 301 816 1000 we'll tell you all about this bad 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 67 nova pro tour